you can go to prison for making alcohol and here's why. A lot of you have asked about the legalities regarding making beer and wine from home and rightfully so. You want to make sure that the ATF doesn't come knocking on your door. The laws regarding home brewing are often confused so I figured this would be a good opportunity to talk about what you can and can't do if you want to make your own alcohol. For some reason my strawberry meat video got taken down for violating community guidelines, specifically with regard to the trade of regulated goods. I think TikTok just has something against strawberries. It doesn't make much sense to me but I want to make it perfectly clear. Making meat and fermentation in general is perfectly legal in the US as long as the product isn't sold. That means you can make beer, wine, or kombucha from home. Now, depending on your local laws, there are limits to the volume of product you're able to produce, and it also depends on the number of adults in your household. Typically, it's less than 100 gallons a year, which is a lot. Pretty much, you can't be mass producing commercial levels of meat. But as long as you're within the limits and you don't sell your product, there is no threat of getting in trouble. That being said, distilling spirits from home is strictly prohibited. Now, I'm not exactly sure why fermenting is allowed and distilling is not, but my best guess is that it's because there's a bit more danger in distilling and there's a greater chance of producing methanol.